Uh, Kefels is adopting a child or considering adopting a child. Kefels says, I am such a proficient hater. I earn enough money that I'm looking to ha for a house and I'm considering adopting a child. I will hate so hard that I have to put a kid through school. And then says, I'm a loyalist, as in the Irish uh, politics. I'm a loyalist because loyalists are retarded at running the country and I can afford to rent a six bedroom house here because they destroyed the economy. Um, that's a really fun thing to say. Uh, if you are Irish, I'm sure the idea that you pay what you do for rent and Keffels lives in a six bedroom house by himself and is looking to fill that with Irish children is an infuriating statement because there is a housing crisis in Ireland and rent is extraordinary. Um, Luke, uh, Luke has also put out a video explaining how he was raped. He put out a video. What's weird is that I'm going to show you if I can show you this real quick, actually. This, okay, see this thumbnail? Keffels has this really gross, like actually disgusting, viscerally disgusting uh, thumbnail that he puts on all of his videos that is like just his gross man tits pressed together. Like it actually nauseates me seeing this gross floppy uh, slappers just, you know, hanging there with the, ugh, and the third tit in the middle. Oh, oh my God. Like it actually, it literally triggers my gag reflex. Um, but he put out this video said I am I was raped and then used his flappy boppers as a enticing thumbnail for this video about how he was raped in the ass. And he went on for about three hours about how his ex boyfriend, uh, ex fiance, was a rapist who abused him in every way, and was also a Kiwi Farms member or something, um, which included uh, a nice little bit of Keffel's molding about um, the Kiwi Farms. Blood continued on the same thread and said, I'm bitter that Clara, a person I considered to be a friend, broke bread with a man who shared our doxing thread to his chat. My tenure as a Keffels mod is the very reason I became, act I became and remain an active Kiwi target in the first place. And... This is Blood posting a screenshot from the Kiwi Farms. Um, I forgot the name of, of the app. The app that a lot of Nazis use. Telegram? Telegram. I think it's Telegram. I, more people use it than just Nazis, but this was from the Kiwi Farms Telegram where Joshua Moon posted blood saying they spent months on end obsessively talking about us and i still have intensively violent fantasies about unaliving joshua moon as a result um there was a reply to this what is this supposed to prove this is just kiwi farms complaining about being taken down and then being brought back up again just say i don't like vosh and i'm bitter that a streamer that i'm parasocially attached to is friends with him it's really easy and i need to remind everyone that to this day kiwi farms hates my fucking guts this was from a couple days ago. This is Joshua Moon's Twitter account. He's active. He's on Twitter. He's tagging me. He's instigating harassment against me. It never ended. It never came to an end. And the only reason I don't talk about it is because even if the site is completely dead forever, they're still going to be around and they will hate me until my dying breath. And I simply want to move on with my life. And bringing oh, that's too fucking up bad. Kiwi Farms as some sort of gotcha is victim blaming. So what he This um, is where my ex <clears throat> comes in. Okay, so what he there's no one more thing by the way. Um Oh, uh, okay, I'll explain this and then I'll get back on this. 
Um, Keffel's also accused ex-mod Salia, one of his Discord training JNAs, of being removed from his position for sexual harassment against Keffel's, of course. So this is like two people that he's accused of sexual harassment. Additionally, Keffel's also strongly insinuated Xander Hall sexually harassed him by comparing him to Taylor Swift, as well as Uno Reverse Meme that includes the phrase, hop off Zan's cock, or Doll25, because the number of videos Keffel's had made on Xander Hall this week. Uh, finally, the ex-fiance who was accused of rape came forward with additional accusations this time that Keffel's let his guinea pig die by drowning in two inches of water. Keffel's plans on buying more guinea pigs in the coming months. A big part of that was um, Keffel's complaining that this person, uh, their ex-fiance, had tried to get compel them to get rid of his guinea pigs that he apparently had had for a while. Um, and the the ex-person shot back by saying, why is it so slow on this on Libra Wolf? Because when I do it on Chrome, it works just fine. Um, that's annoying. Uh, they say, as long as unverifiable claims about pets are being made, Keffel's literally let her favorite guinea pig drown to death in like two inches of water. There are multiple summers where she let four of them roam in their own way so long that we get massive fruit fly infestations. For my part, my cat is still alive at 13 years. She's healthy and happy and most definitely won't die of neglect. So, the, um, yeah, Keffel, I don't even know why Keffel's is like so, so weird and pissy about, uh, this person and in their efforts by the way to condemn their ex-fiance of doing him wrong um he keffels reveals that number one that uh the reason why keffels moved to ireland to begin with was because of the breakup and trying to get away from this person Whereas in all the publications about the Kiwi farms, Keffels explicitly said over and over and over again that they had left Canada fleeing from Kiwi farms inspired terrorism. Keffels also said that the Kiwi farms was the first one uh, to dox them and dox uh, their family. And that's not true because they revealed in private to Destiny that Doxpin was the website that doxed them and also their entire family. So the initial incident about the swatting that happened when the swatting was just a police investigation over an email was not like an actual uh, attempted, you know, breach entry or whatever. That's a lie. That was in the Kiwi farms. And then also the, the tour is the, the nice uh, GoFundMe inspired uh, European tour that he took to Ireland was also a lie. Uh, admittedly, it was always obvious that they just went to, the council just went to, to Europe to, uh, and spend some money that they just got from a GoFundMe under the guise of it being necessary flight for life. Um, but then now it's ex explicit that what Keffels did wasn't just fly to Ireland and move there. Um, Keffels left this person's, uh, the house that they were living at together to fly in with another sexual partner. So when Keffels said that they fled the country to avoid the Kiwi farms, that was also demonstrably a lie. And what's sad and my big rant this this month has, or in the last day, has been about Wikipedia. These articles that are trusted news sources republish lies, and they cannot be compelled to unpublish their lies. And then at the same time, um, Keffels is now free to basically renege on their entire story, repurpose the events of 2000 or 2022 to harm their ex partner, who they're trying to accuse of rape. And then at the same time, while undermining their original story about the Kiwi farmers being a threat against them, uh, that fact, th those uh, allegations by those journalists will never go back into the bottle. It'll never be put back in and it will never be uh, removed from Wikipedia. And it will still be Keffels fled the country to get away from Kiwi farms that was habitually doxing them and trying to murder rape them. Uh, while Keffels is free to gallivant about how the underlying clause was actually a, a domestic dispute with their fiance. It's, 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 I mean, it, this is a, uh, really tight example of how the narrative that people are being fed and how journalism works and how Wikipedia works is a fucking farce. And it's disgusting. It, it honestly, it fills me with such a, uh, an enormous amount of contempt. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.